Polish author Shana Sinok can literally write the book about getting published. And she actually did. And knowing that writing books can be a good source of income for Filipinos, Shah has taken the tutoring session on how to write a book, even if you're not a writer, a notch up by offering an online course called the 90 Day Book Writing Challenge. I wanted to reach out as many people as possible, not just people from Manila, but people also from the provinces and our OFWs. I cannot teach how to write a book in one sitting. And also, I don't have the luxury of time to meet everyone. And so I thought of an effective way on how I could reach out as many people as possible in the comforts of their own homes or offices and without going through the traffic. The 90-day book writing challenge can easily be summarized by the keyword write or W-R-I-T-E. W stands for a willing environment. Nasino suggests you surround yourself with other aspiring authors who have common goals as you so that you could lift each other up. Next comes R for results. Ideally, at the end of the 90-day course, you should be ready to publish the work you've created within that time frame. Now this next part could be tricky, as I stands for inspiration, which isn't always the easiest to come by. Nasino vows to be on top of inspiring her students more than enough to get them going. T means tools and systems, as she says there's a systematic way of writing. Using this system, you could actually write a book in 90 days. I remember when I wrote my first book, it took me three years because I didn't know anything about writing a book. But through those three years, I discovered and developed a systematic way of writing a book. And using that system, I was able to write my first ebook in three weeks. And using the same system, I was able to write four more ebooks in a span of six months while working full time for a bank. Encouraged yet? Well, this is exactly what E stands for encouragement, as it is a necessary ingredient to any author's success. And an even more weighty promise is this there is a book launch at the end of the tunnel. Broken down into three parts, here's how the 90 day course works. Part one is all about how to write a book even for those who feel that they aren't real writers. Part two tackles the ins and outs of publishing an actual physical book, either through self-publishing or going to a traditional publisher. And lastly, part three teaches you how to market and sell your book by teaching you how to get your books into the major stores in the country, as well as how you could market it online and offline. Nasino admits there are a lot of common misconceptions about coming up with a good book. For instance, it is almost always the assumption that writing a book is difficult, when in reality, all of us do some form of writing and communicating each day. Which leads us to another common misnomer, that one has to be a writer to be able to write. A text message is a form of communicating through writing. So is a letter or a social media status update. Everyone can string words together so anyone can write and earn from it. But how can one earn money from writing books? According to Nasino, there are many ways to gain income as you become an author. First is from book sales or royalties. Second is your professional fee in speaking for seminars, conferences, and events. Once you gain experience, you could be invited to talk to people, share your knowledge, and touch their lives beyond turning a page. And finally, if you're worried that no one will pick up your creation, Nasino says an effective strategy is to write your book from the perspective of someone who wants to be an inspiration to people, from someone who wants to give back to the reading public. And when you come up with a good book that touches even just one person, that one person will become your instant marketing manager by spreading the news via word of mouth to everyone in his or her circle. And before you know it, you have a whole marketing team pushing your book to their other circles without you having to spend a centavo on it. You don't need to ask your credibility to write a book because you are credible. You are, you are worthy to become an author no matter who you are and no matter what your background is. The right questions that you should ask are this. Will my book inspire someone? Will my book bless someone? Will my book give solutions to someone else's problem? If the answer is yes to any or all, or all of those questions, then you should write a book. Because writing is such a beautiful calling. There is no excuse for someone with even a slight inkling towards getting published to give up the fight before even trying. After all, cliche as it may sound, when there's a will, there's definitely a way.